Hello, welcome to this playthrough of Civilization V with, with actually the Brave New World and the Gods and Kings add-ons and, and various other downloaded bits. Um, but I'm going to do multiplayer today. It's going to be me, Martin, and my wife, Alex. Say hello. Hello. Alex is not so much of a game player as me. So, uh, um, she's played Civ 3 a few times. A uh, long time ago. A long time ago, yeah. And... Her, her sort of games were Fallout Tactics, oh, and Knights and Merchants, I think. Yeah. Things like that. Um, but even that was ages ago. It was like yes. 10, 15 years ago you are yes. talking about. Yeah. It'll all come back. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. But I haven't uh, played this one. Now we're going to do Hot Seat version. I think the standard is where you play it over a network. Hot Seat is where you share a, key, a keyboard. And Pit Boss is where you, you have a, some dedicated server somewhere, to, mm -hmm. still on a network. Um, and you can play by email with this one, which is ridiculous. Because <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the term, you have to wait and receive an email and load up the game again. It's just crazy. Anyway, it'll take you years to play it like that. Anyway, hot seat. This is where we swap keyboards in between turns. Now, the interface is, is chronic because um, it was made up from the networked version and they haven't really fixed it properly. Victory types. Time victory. I think I want to turn that off because mm. um, the game just stops when the time is up, whether you've won or not. You might be like two or three turns from mm -hmm. launching your rocket into space or something and the game says, oh, you lost. Uh, that's just annoying. Um, there's other other options here, um, which I'm just going to ignore. <coughs> uh, oh, there's my downloaded content, but it, it's just uh, what random stuff I happen to have, extra extra sieves I happen to have put in there. It doesn't really matter. It's quite a lot. Yeah, they're all free. Um, now the map type... <coughs> Mm -hmm. There's lots of possible maps, and I don't know if you have a preference. I'm thinking of yeah. of a fractal. I'm thinking of because it's like what's a, fractal? It's a it's a random map with sort of islands and continents, but you've no idea really what they're like. It says thin, snaky continents. I don't know about that. I don't really fancy thin, snaky continents. No, I don't. I like want something that. that's more or less realistic. The, oh, there was there was yeah, another one that random. was quite quite realistic. Where, where was it? I forget what it's called. Shuffle. I think that was it. Yeah. Okay. I think that one. Um, well, we won't know. We're in. We're, we're just coming out of the Stone Age. How do we know what the world is like anyway? It's it's some it's something. Um, I'm gonna go for a huge map huge. because I don't like starting up next to all the bad guys because it forces you to fight right away, and I don't want to be fighting all the time. No, I don't <coughs> want to fight at all. Well, you have to have decent strength and diplomacy, otherwise they'll think you're weak and attack. Oh. Um, also. If you're too strong, they think you're strong and they gang up against you and attack. You've got to be somewhere in between. <laughs> not enough to threaten them and not enough to be uh, easy pickings. Not weak. At the I don't like this <coughs> war element in the game at all. It's a bit I annoying. I like to yeah. just enjoy it and yeah. start cities, develop culture and science. I don't like attacking yes. others. But That's what I, I'm, yeah. I'm the same, but I th I'm afraid that human history is dominated by psychopaths. Um, yeah, but this is reinforcing <coughs> you. This is teaching you that that's the only it's, way. It's to teaching go. you to join the army. Yeah, yeah might exactly. is right. Yeah, I'm going to go for a quick game because yes, it will still please. take ages. <laughs> and we're starting in the ancient era. That is mm -hmm. just at the discovery of agriculture. Um, now, I don't know what these buttons are, but um, host game, I suppose. It, it's it's kind of assuming you're on the network. It's it's just daft. Um, host game. What next then? <coughs> Bing. Mm. Right. Now, are we player one? I guess. Um, and I'm going to knock the level down a bit from Prince to Warlord because I haven't played it for a while. Um, Can you make me a settler or something? <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to be human as well. Um, team two? You're going to be in the same team as me. We'll be allies. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that makes us allies. And because you haven't played it, I'll make you chieftain. Settler is just too, too easy. Um, really, it's that's for me. <laughs> we'll make you chieftain because you've you've got some okay. Civ three experience and yeah, stuff. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can name myself. Can I? Doesn't look like it. Mm. I think there's a way of doing it, but I don't know how. Um, unsupported number of players. It says here. I've been experimenting with it, and I have found that I, I need to delete some of these AI idiots here, and and then it then it works. There we go. <coughs> All right, so we're going to have half a dozen AIs and us. Now we don't 
I don't know if I can. It says edit. Can I? Oh, I can name my civilization. I can give. Can I? Oh, I can give myself a name as well. Let's give myself Martin. That's my name. Okay. The others I'm going to keep as random. I, I might what about choose. Me? And you as well. We can name you. Oh, here we go. Edit. Alex. Yeah. Pink. Then we know who you are. Now, do you want a random civilization, or do you want to pick one from the list? You might end up as. Kim Jong Il or something, won't you? Here, no, have a scroll through and see what you want to be then. <coughs> um, just, just Marco, Greece, mm -hmm. There's loads. Mm. I'd go for Germany, but I don't want to be Bismarck. I don't think he's attractive enough no. to to look at your no. icon and think I'll ask me, Catherine. Oh, maybe. Oh. England. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. It could maybe. be blighty, yes. Oh, maybe I can be blighty. Hmm. It's, it's a massive selection. Isabella is probably nice. Yeah, mm. she's very religious. Oh, no. Thank you. Maybe I should just get a random one. Maybe I'll end up being Napoleon or something. Well, because you there might end up being somebody awful. <laughs> Something you don't want to be, so. Well, there are so many interesting choices. So yeah. Let's be random. You're going to be random. Mind. Okay, yeah. random, yeah. Then I'll be random as I'll well. I'll probably <coughs> regret this, but. Oh, well, it doesn't cares. matter. Yeah. Um, so we are on one, the same team, and I think now you would you'd think there'd be a button there to say start, but in fact <laughs> you have to tick this ready box, and then How it starts. You know? Well, I just found it by randomness, actually. Um, and you see this player is not connected nonsense as if it was a network game it's just mm -hmm. it's like they got the programmer in for a day to, to do, design the, the interface and, and they didn't let him finish it <laughs> but it works um, ready I think oh, I guess so and does anything happen yes Ooh. ok so I am the Moroccan Empire and I've got cavalry and a casbah whatever they are I receive extra extra gold and culture for each trade route with a different sieve or city state, and trade route owners receive plus two gold for each trade route sent to Morocco. So obviously, gold and culture are what I should concentrate on. We I, we have to find out who you are and what mm -hmm. your bonuses are. But I, I think well, because of the half-assed way this game was made, it's not going to show you at first. <laughs> we'll have to find it <clears throat> when we know who you are. Lovely. Yes. Hooray! So I am ready to go. Go. Bink. And now this is the interface. We'll ju I'll just talk about things as and when they are. Um, they come up. But I guess that's where I am, and I guess that's where you are. Mm -hmm. We're actually quite <laughs> close to each other because we're off the edge of the world. You're, oh, you're yeah. sort of down there. Um, this is quite different from Civ Three, as I remember. It's a bit more. It's plusher, plusher looking, yes. Yeah. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel and zoom oh, out. Oh, If you want to have a nice... Yeah, that's the, <coughs> the area we haven't discovered yet. Mm. It um, used to be just black. Yeah. Um, it was black in this when I started the game, but I found mm. that if I, if I improved my graphic settings in the options, oh, then, it, then it did okay. clouds instead. Mm. Um, right, so, well, you can move and go to somewhere else, but then you lose a turn, and... Um, the computer players will settle probably right away and you'll they'll start advancing before you and it makes a difference. But I've got lots of gems, which is really mm. good. Fish, deer. So quite good stuff. I'm just gonna settle here. Oh, I've got I've got uh, yes, I'm on the coast, which in in a in a violent game it means you're a little bit vulnerable to seaborne attack. <coughs> what are these colourful dots like oh, yellow and green? Right. There is an option here to show um, show them, they're resource icons. Mm. I think, or something like that. Uh, it shows you what the productivity is of these cells. Um, green is food. Okay. The hammers are, are manufacturing ability. Mm. Um, and the gold ones are gold money. <coughs> mm. Like the gemstones produce three when they're worked. Okay. Um, I think each citizen uses two, uh, two foods uh, per turn. But you start off with a couple of free ones. So I'm going to found... Marrakech. <coughs> now I could rename it. I can click on it, I think, and rename it. Should I give it? No. I want to keep it as they are, yeah? Yeah. <coughs> okay. 
Now it's saying choose production. You can click on this or you can click on this. Um, now the point of the game <coughs> is you've just started, you've discovered agriculture and you're just starting to build a settled civilization as opposed to being nomadic. So I'm going to want to stick, stick cities down and stuff. And you'd think nomads would know where they were, but I'm going to build a scout because I don't know where I am. Is it possible to play Civ and be a nomad all the time? Don't think so. No, <laughs> no. It's just a random question. It just no. occurred to me. I think because civ civilization is, is the, the idea is you, you build monuments. So and cities. You're, you're settled, yeah. Okay. yeah. You should try once. Mm. Just running around yeah. <laughs> as a lone unit, just wander around until you get eliminated by some barbarian. <laughs> yes. Um, right. What do I need? Um, my military advisor recommends our te mining technology, and it's a good idea because I've got these gadgets. Um, animal husbandry will help me manage the deer, presumably. Mm. And I can constru construct oh an extra trade route, which will be good for my sieve. <clears throat> I don't know how we find out what your sieve's advantages are um, when how we do you find out about yours <coughs> I don't know I, I ah, read, you I read, read the description, I read the description. And, and I will not have a description right <coughs> well that's right so we'll have to figure <laughs> it out in a minute <laughs> when it's your turn we'll try and figure it out not only do I not remember the game at all I mean you, you at all I don't know what your advantages are <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here okay. yes okay well I'm going to I'm going to start with something which is going to help generate food or pottery I think it allows sailing and writing. And I'm near the beach, after all, so... Near the beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let me see if I can find my civilization's info. Um, my social policies, culture overview, is that... Diplomacy, no. Uh, uh, um, goodness knows, really. Mm -hmm. Not, not here. I don't think it's one no. of these, no. Oh, this this bottom button, it's just off the bottom of the screen. Let me just scroll, bring the screen up and down. There's a couple of buttons here. I have to use a different resolution for YouTube so it doesn't quite fit. This button puts you into sort of war game view, like it's oh. a board game. But it's a bit ugly. Well, yeah. it, it's, it's, it's okay as a board game, but this is a more fun view. And this button gives you... Um, it shows you those yield icons all the time. Mm. Um, otherwise, they're only visible when you've got a settler ready. Uh, um, um, and this is th these icons on the resources. I find it's useful to have them. It makes them stand out a bit. Yeah. Um, and the hex grid, I always have it on, so you can work out where you want to move. Uh -huh. Trade routes, we don't have any, but it's again, I think it's worth showing them when they when we have some. Um, so, how do I find out what my sieve's benefits are? On the old sieve, you could point down here, and it would show you. Are you not going to show the top of the screen? Oh, let's show the top of the screen as well, yeah. Let's move down a bit. Oops. There are some icons at the top here. I'll try and just get a bit of that bottom bit, a bit more of the bottom in. So it's going to trim it slightly, but it's close enough. I think those numbers are legible. These are various things which we'll use. <coughs> I've got to explore, I think. Up. You, this guy, well, we'll deal with him, but I'm trying to figure out how we know what your civilization is. It's not that. It's not that. We'll come to these things. There's a close button there, which I'm clicking. Lots and lots of info. Um, economic overview? Nope. Maybe if you click on your flag somewhere. No? Mm. If I open the city of Marrakesh. Nope. No, that's for the city. Know. We'll have to but find out sometime. I don't know. That one? No? In, in the corner? Nope. Don't know how we can view the summary screen, but there you go. How will I find out who I am? I don't know. Well, it'll tell you who you are, but what, what you're good at, we'll have to guess. We, we can maybe keep keep an eye on it and see. Um, I don't know how we'll find out. Mm. Menu. Um, ah, it'll show you here. Um... Morocco, there we so we can go to this screen and when you're up maybe it will show me, um, so return to game. Um, right, unit my unit, my unit needs to move. They can move by right clicking on the destination or by using the move button and left clicking. I'm going to right click somewhere, I'm going to climb up a hill and just see what's around here. And that's my turn. I've found some bananas. So now it's your turn. 
Okay. And you, are, you are an elephant. I think you're Dido of Carthage. <laughs> I'm not an elephant. <laughs> Continue. Yes. Right. Yep. And you want to click on the click on the menu and, um, and see if it shows yeah. who you are. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So point at your elephant. Carthage. All coastal cities get a free harbour. Units can cross mountains mm. after the first great general is earned. But you mustn't end a turn on a mountain, right? Why not? Oh, okay. Taking right. Point, yeah. point at the next button and just see if, see if the shuffle. This is just the rest of the settings, okay? What's this? That's the, oh, yeah, okay, okay, so it. bottom one, return to game. Okay. okay. I find this menu a bit hard to navigate because it's all. Well, yes. Know. The design is just strange. Nothing stands out. Yeah. Okay. Now your um, settler. Normally in Civ, it's recommended to settle straight away if there's anything yeah, half readable. It. Yeah. Um, You've got lots of wheat I... fields. That's it. Okay. What is there? I've got wine. Yes. Very strange. What year is it? I already have wine. It's 4000 BC. Um, okay. Very old wine. Um, right, so what do I do now? You can either choose production or choose um, research or choose production. New unit. Ah. Okay, now I, I was thinking about research, but I chose production. Okay. Work as scout warrior. So you usually build scouts. I normally build a scout or a worker, yeah. Because the, the point is to find good places for your next city and okay. to grab, grab resources if you can. Okay. Okay. Now you have wheat. Mm-hmm. Can't move around. No, Strange. you've got to you've got to do, choose some technology. Now. Okay. Um, you can probably grab the map and drag it. I don't know. Um, what would help me take advantage of the wheat? Um, probably. Well, mm -hmm. look at look at the technology tree. I think probably the granary, the pottery, <coughs> because <gasps> from here. Well, let's see wheat. Calendar. <laughs> I can't remember all these things. I <laughs> <coughs> it's, it's a couple of months since I played it. <laughs> yeah. In theory, it's, it's. I don't see any any particular wheat stuff. You can probably m build fields straight away when you've got a worker. Okay. But a granary will help you store the wheat, um, which means your cities will grow a bit faster. In effect. Where do I get the granary from? From pottery. From pottery. Yeah. Okay. It's these little icons in the pottery symbol. Ah, okay. You point at them, it tells you what you can do. Granary, shrine. Okay, so I close. You haven't it? chosen it yet. You haven't chosen it. I don't understand this. Click pottery. On, click on no. it. Yeah. That's it. Your now, mouse is so <laughs> yeah. inconvenient. Okay. And now One move the unit. Order. But I can send it to. Auto explore. If auto you explore. Want. Yeah. If you want to, yes. Um, yeah. Yep, that's it. And you've discovered some ruins somewhere. Oh. I don't see them. They're probably just off the edge of the screen. If you grab with the with the right hand or left hand button and, and grab, drag the screen, probably. Oops. <laughs> uh, Is that like what you're this? doing? You're dragging, yeah. Yeah. I did see I the, ru the ruins were did there. Did change the angle? No. Mm, does it, just it changes as you scroll, as you zoom in and out. Okay. There's the ruins on the, on the <gasps> left edge. They give you a freebie of some sort. Or they may be full of barbarians. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Next turn. Okay, okay. Cool. My go. Yeah. yeah. Get hold of your mouse. It's so awful. Yeah. All right, okay. I'll go back to my cup of tea. So, oh, if we drag the map with the left button, okay. Next turn. It says please wait because the other players are going at the moment. It shows you at the bottom there. So we've got some barbarians and stuff mm. like that. Bink. I've discovered some ruins as well. I suppose that's them. Mm. Let's go. Do I want to go on the coast here? Yeah. Oh, more gems. I'm going to be really rich if I can settle up here, and of course. And more, but more ruins. Another lot of ruins. It, it says two lots. I only see one. I guess they're off somewhere up here. I don't know. Not to worry. Anyway, and that's all I can do. 
Um, I've discovered some ruins. There. Where's the others? Oh. Oh, I see. I, I know the ones. I know about the ones that you discovered. That's crazy. Go away from my ruins. How, don't be greedy. How are we doing this when we haven't even met each other yet? I don't know how we're allies anyway already, but yeah, there we are. Yeah, but we are. We're quite close, but we're not actually close. connected. You'd think we'd have a, a route. Yeah, strange. But it's bizarre. Go okay. away from my ruins anyway. You'll go, yes. But what do I do with them? You walk into them, or your, your explorer will go and have a look. Oh. Yes. Mine. You found Ooh. Mount Fuji. So you get extra happiness. <laughs> I already got it. <laughs> yes. And if you uh, build a city near it, mm -hmm. close enough to it, then um, you get those extra bonuses too. Gold, culture, and faith. Oh, yeah. I've um, got a nice icon for gold, faith. Yeah, gold, culture, and faith are all... I think of them as types of money. Oh, it's really cool. You got that? Yeah, that's nice. Mm. So you can build the archer. That was that was what you found. Okay. Oh. And that's the end of your turn. Mm, so quick. At the start of the game, it's it's there's nothing much happening. It looks like a good place to found a city, actually. Yeah. Um, so at some point. A bit far from water, maybe. Oh, what's here? Doesn't matter. Ah, oh, that's yeah. Mount Fuji. Yeah, that's Mount Fuji. Oh, it, this is so beautiful. So somewhere over there might be good to have found another city at I some point. I want to find mm. foxes. Uh, well, you'll probably find some up north somewhere. Okay. I don't so know. So next turn. Yeah. Do they live in the north? I think they live in the north and the south or something like that, near the temperate zones, <coughs> roughly. But uh, I don't know how random this map is, of course. Um, I go, um, let's find out what's in my ruins. I received some gold, haha. -ha. Again, that's good for my type of person. <coughs> this is so quick. You don't do anything and... Not yet, no. There'll, eventually there'll be loads to do every turn. Next turn? That's Why? it, you moved, yes. <laughs> the end. <coughs> How can I settle down? You said I could settle... You haven't built settlers yet. Ah, oh, okay. You have to wait till you finish building the scout and so on. And also... It's probably worth waiting until your city's grown a bit bigger because it will spend ages building a settler and you won't be able to do anything else. Um, but when your city's bigger, it can build them more quickly. I should wait till my city's grown to about size four or five. So I've built a scout. Ray, I can choose something else now. I can either build a Temple of Artemis, which will take me ages, <coughs> but speed up growth a lot. A monument speeds up culture. If I remember rightly, my guy was good with culture. I can build a work. I think I should build a worker to start with, honestly, because um, I'm going to start having to build fil fields and mine these things and stuff like that. What are all these things about your city? That's the combat yeah, strength. Numbers, that's its it? defensive strength of the city. Mm -hmm. That's my logo. What's well, this no, that's one the scout. Um, that is the size of the city, and it'll grow into two t in two turns if I don't do anything to stop it. Okay. How big do they grow? up to about 20 or so, um, mm. sometimes more. It varies according to th how much uh, food they can have and so on from the surrounding fields. Okay. Um, I think I will build a worker and I'll send my scout out on auto-explore as well. Whoosh. And he can walk somewhere. I'm going to keep going up the coast. I like the seaside. Mm -hmm. um, your turn. <coughs> oh, you've discovered a city-state. I should tell you about city-states. They are like... A they are AI players, but they're not out to conquer the world. They're just independent cities. Mm -hmm. um, and they've given you 30 gold as, di for, as, for, as diplomacy. Um, and they have... You've seen in the middle, they have traits. Whales. Oh. If, if you can make an ally of this city-state by giving them gifts and being good with them diplom diplomatically, mm -hmm. you will gain access to their resources. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are religious, some of them are maritime, so they can give you sort of naval bonuses and things like that, yeah. um, roughly speaking. Um, and that's it. Okay. Um, so, so do I close or do I find it on the map? Is it uh, you, you, you can see it on the map anyway, it's, it's there on the screen. Ah, okay. So if you click close, there they are. 
Your mouse is a pain. Oh my god. No, you can. Yeah, it's not made for oh. your for your hand. That's but um, you can um, you can conquer them if you want to. But I usually I usually diplomatize with them. But sometimes they'll become an ally of one of your enemies, in which case. But I can we know over them over time culturally from yes. a small place. That's right. Yes. Okay. You 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 can push their borders in. Mm -hmm. Their borders expand with Thailand, so do yours. Mm -hmm. But generally, you can just just bribe them with money or whatever, okay. uh, um, and they'll stay on your side. So this is what civilization teaches you that you can yeah. bribe everyone. Yes. One issue with them yeah. is they are near Mount Fuji. Oh. Um, so if you want to sit, you can put, stick a city, say, over here by, near the copper somewhere, and you'll probably still get Mount Fuji, but mm. they may get it. Mm. So it might be good to settle rapidly <laughs> over there. But that might so not. I need to settle somewhere around here. I'd say a bit closer. When, when it be I'd, I'd say probably between the cows and the copper, or, or here. somewhere like that. Yeah. Isn't it too close for cities to be um, well, so near you can't, each Yes, other? you can't be within four hexes of another city, I think. And on... <laughs> For, for other civilizations as opposed to city states, they don't like it if you're within seven hexes of them. I think they complain. It upsets the diplomacy. So mm. go on the eighth hex away from from their one of their cities. So. Um, so somewhere around there. And you still think it's going to be okay to, to have a city here? Yeah. So close to my capital and so close to Vancouver. Yes. I mean, when you get a settler, it may recommend spots anyway, somewhere like that. Okay. Next turn. Yeah. Yeah. The city-states are a new innovation because in the old civs they didn't have them. Um, they were all AI players. And they're quite good because historically there were lots of places like Monaco and so on. I found some... <coughs> oh, I found some barbarians. I found some I found some settlers. Oh, they've added, added to my city population. That's nice. Oh. I don't know where these barbarians are. Where are they? Oh, okay. My scout has found them. That's good. What happens if you find... Barbarians. Um, well, Do they, they are. You? They're aggressive guys. Yeah, basically. Um, so if I look down here, the scout is not really a fighting unit. Mm -hmm. Barbarians, their little encampment will keep on spawning units until I destroy it, basically, and they will attack and pillage and so on, mm. sort of hi like the historical guys did. <laughs> they're nomads in a sense, except they've got a, a settlement. <coughs> I suppose you can play as a a barbarian uh, uh, in some mod of the game. Ruins. They're, my, they're the ruins I discovered, I think. Uh, but I haven't discovered them as well. Yeah. Right. You have made your scout. So you oh, can start exploring okay. them. Automatically as well? If you want to. Well, I think so. Okay. We found some more wine, which is useful. There's stuff in that direction too. Good. Mm, okay. So who can I create a worker? I noticed that settler is greyed out. Oh yeah, why? Oh, you need at least two citizens, I see. Do you think a worker would be useful? I think it's essential. It's the most essential thing after a scout, I think. And... Uh, even before a scout sometimes. Okay. Because you okay. need to be able to work these fields. So you need yeah, to, to exactly. build farms and stuff. If I create a lot of wine, can I just give it to barbarians and they will get drunk and stop their streaming? I think you, you can trade it with other people, not oh, barbarians. Okay. No, barbarians will just steal it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So next turn. Yeah. Okay. The trouble with barbarians is they don't have a civilised value system. <coughs> Oh, I found somebody. I found the Inca. Mm. Pachacuti. Neutral. Uh, well, he's neutral, okay. Um, can we trade? I don't think we've got anything to trade. We can swap gold, which is pointless. Because mm. um, we both have some gold. <laughs> um, can we discuss anything? None of these are going to work at this stage because we have no real diplomatic weight with them. So it's best to... In this game you can denounce people who are 
um, being a nuisance, and that's kind of that kind of primes other people that that your relations are bad. If you just attack out of the blue, sometimes it can affect your diplomatic rating with other other sieves. But if they already know you don't like each other, um, it, it's not so bad. So you can warn them first that you don't like what they're up to by doing that. Okay. It harms your relations with them. But and their friends, presumably. Pro- yes, and uh, but. On the other hand, it's, it's, it's sort of a step short of going to war. Mm. Next turn. <coughs> Give it to me. Continue. Oh. Are you, oh, that's because uh, you've met them because I've met them, so it's mm. the same. So you can just say goodbye, I suppose. But you'll be able to set up separate trade agreements by the looks of it. I don't know how closely te- the teams are linked. Mm. I don't know if we will both... So I just say goodbye. Yeah. It's very diplomatic. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. I would. I would do it if I were in, in the English civilization. Yes. <laughs> Tatty eye. Tot for now. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> next turn. I, I want to do something, and it's just telling well, me next it's turn. It's because you, um, your city is grown. Citizens. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. It's because we all we all all that's happening at the moment is we have a few units moving about and that's it. It's so slow in the beginning with nothing to do. Yeah. Oh, I have found pottery. Hooray! Oh. I can build a granary which provides extra food, and I can build a shrine which produces faith. Hooray! Of gold. Oh. You see, I'm. Uh, oh, very interesting. And there's a city state or something up there, or is it these guys? I think it may be the Incas. I don't know. Choose research. I have no idea, really. Calendar allows me to more faith. Sailing to explore some more. Writing to do some science. Oh, there's so many choices. Mining. Let me have a look what's around my city. Mining is obviously going to be use- important. And sailing. Yeah. Can you fish yet? Um, no, I need sailing for that, too. Mm. I'm going to do mining because I'm close to these... I want to get ready for all that stuff. You want to grab all the gold and, yes, and gemstones. And gemstones, yes. yes. <laughs> exactly. Greedy, I'd go for sailing. Yeah. But okay. Change Lisa. Oh, nice. Your city's grown to three now. Yeah. It'll be overpopulated soon. Okay, change research. Can I research? Now you are on the coast as well, by the looks of it. I don't know if it's a lake or a. Or, um, an ocean yet. I'll probably go for animal husbandry. Do you have animals um, near you? You don't have any yet. I, I have sheep. They're a long here. way away. Uh, so what would you recommend then? Look, I've got deer, I've got cattle, I've got sheep. Yeah, but you haven't got them. They're outside your city limits. Uh, so what should I research? You don't have any hills near you either, really. Um, you've got a mountain which you can't mine. Um, maybe calendar will allow plantations later, but but um, writing? or, sa- or sailing, <laughs> sailing because you're on the coast, or writing for building libraries. Oh, possibly sailing because you're on the coast, or there may be, that may be a lake or it may be an ocean. I don't know. If, um, there's no fish near you, but you can explore it with a boat. Um, or writing, perhaps. Okay, I'll or go calendar. for sailing. Okay. Mining would be nice, in a way, and in fact, animal husbandry also would make sense, because it would take me eight turns to research it, and by that time, do you think I could build a settler? I think it's going to take what, 10 ages? or 15, it's going to take 10, 10 or 15 turns, because you've got other things to do anyway. Oh, okay, I'll go do for sailing. Uh, up to you, I, I, either what? would do. What? Either would do. You might, maybe you'll go for a settler next, I don't know. Oh, I don't understand what I'm doing. If you go for writing, I've got wine... It goes well with writers. <laughs> but, okay. I don't know. I'm tempted to choose animal husbandry. Go on then. Yeah. It's okay. quick. It's quick to research anyway, which is a good thing. Yeah, exactly. I think by that time I'll have settlers and. Well, you'll be ready to build them at least. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe I did it all wrong. I don't know. I, well, I think super duper game players will probably. Be grind, you're not criticizing us anyway for this, but, <laughs> but we're playing it like beginners, and that's fair enough. But yeah. I don't like um, 
sort of doing it with a lot of strategy and all. I just like the fun of it. Yes, that's right. The enjoyment well, of the game. It's Kabul. It's another city-state. They give me only 15 gold. I think that's maybe because they've met Patrick Uti already. Mm. They, they are cultured, so if I befriend them, I get culture. Um, they're irrational. Irrational. <laughs> so it'll make random requests. And if I'm an ally, I can get gold off them. What, what do you mean random requests? Like, give me cheese. Quick. Um, well, they ask you for, for sort of bonuses or money sometimes and things like that mm. um, to help them out. Um. <laughs> Nothing to do for me. Uh. Next turn, yeah. It's because your guys are exploring automatically. Okay. But once you've built something, you can do something. Oops, barbarians are attacking my scouts. Oh no! And that was that. <laughs> oh, right, barbarians have attacked my scouts. Lovely. Well, I'm in no... If I attack them, you see, it shows me the odds. Minor defeat, I would lose some points. But I have a 60% bonus against barbarians. So, but I would still face a minor defeat because I've been weakened by them already by that attack. What can you do? Run away. Run away? Yeah. Let's explore somewhere else. I want to see where I can build stuff. Um, and this area is kind of unexplored. Yeah. But I've got the, war the these warriors up here. have got a long way to go down. Yeah, I think I'll head off this way. More ruins, hooray! And he's going to head over there as a warrior. Discovering so many ruins, they seem so nice. <laughs> I want more ruins. Well, maybe your city will be a ruin eventually. <laughs> Punch you. Malacca, you found Malacca. Gold. Wales and porcelain, okay. okay. Hmm. I have sugar, right. Next turn. Okay, so I've found a nearby barbarian encampment, or several, perhaps. Mm. Which is probably the one I've already discovered, though. Because I don't see any, oops, don't see any signs of any others. No, is it probably a little bit of info about the one I've already found? So that's not much use. There's one down here as well, isn't there somewhere? If I remember rightly, yeah, there. I've got to get rid of those. I'll just have to build some units. Units, you mean warriors? Military, military units. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> How exciting! Yeah. It's it's showing me your map actually. That's because I dragged it over there at some point. Yeah, now click next turn. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. I get my turn and I don't even see my <laughs> area. Yeah. This is so selfish of you. No? <laughs> yes. What? What does it? Mean, well, I don't. I can adopt a social policy, but I'm going to explore a bit first. Oh, more water. Maybe I'm on some sort of island. I don't know. You are. Yeah. Great Britain. No, not, he, not in the game, though. Right, social policy. This is like um, civics in the old game of civilization. Mm. And as you accumulate culture, which is the purple money, you get to spend it on civics. Um, and they give you various benefits. Um, and the ones that are lit up are the ones I'm qualified for at the moment. Does it explain in detail what when, they do? Yes, when I oh, point okay. at it. Oh. Tradition is good for small empires, greatly increases the rate of border expansion and culture. My civilization has a bit of a culture bonus, as, as I recall. Liberty is good for expansion as well, for rapid expansion. <coughs> I do kind of want rapid expansion. Um, but this also gives me extra food, and so that's really good for growth, yes. Oh yes, well ultimately, <laughs> in the classical era you can have that. Honour is for improving my army. Despite mm. the barbarians, I'm not going to go for that, particularly. But it gives me an extra 33% combat bonus against barbarians, which will be really useful with that lot around. 
and piety increases faith um, and shrines get give you extra culture mm. I'm, I, I'm torn between these two rapid expansion or the rate of border expansion in or culture I think I'm going to go for this and you get you, you pay for these extra bonuses to get the full set can you switch from one to another you can have multiple you... ones simultaneously oh ok oh. but I qualify for that one so I'm going to have it so that gives me now three culture in the capital per turn mm. um, and I can build the hanging gardens if it's available and 15% food growth and a free aqueduct to my first four cities once I've got the technology I suppose and later I can build great engineers so there you uh, go. hold on how did you get here in the first place it just told I, you to choose social it. policies I got it by develop uh -huh. by growing some culture it you means I won't be there uh, well, it depends what your sieve's doing for culture. Have a look I at that. I don't even know. You're not even showing me have a look at, well, my sieve on the map. When I click, when I click <laughs> next turn, you'll, you can have a look. <laughs> I'll show you. I think there is some discrimination happening here. <laughs> no, there isn't. <laughs> some <laughs> trickery. Click, click continue and I'll show you your score. On that. Yeah. Look at the top. You're getting plus one culture per turn, so it's asking you as well. <gasps> I will probably go for tradition. A free great person. And here, Hmm. One culture in every city, or three culture in the capital? Uh. It's a tough one. More now or, or more later? It's so hard to choose. Yeah. Mm. A combat bonus versus barbarians. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gain culture for the empire from each barbarian killed. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure the Romans would have had that one. Yeah. <coughs> Sounds like some propaganda. Yeah. Get, an, get a medal when you kill, kill some yeah. barbarians, yes. Oh my goodness, this is so difficult to choose from. Oh. It's just like going to a shop and seeing three dresses and you want to get each. Well, now I know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. How do I choose for each? Well, at the moment, I've got barbarians around, so it would make sense to have Orna. But at the same time, these look nice too. Maybe I'll, I'll go for tradition. Because it, it seems to be a generally good one. At, at this stage of development, it's good to have tradition. Yeah. Just let's hope I don't find any aggressive barbarians on that way. Well, your units are better than the early barbarians anyway, if you start building them. Okay, and close at the bottom. Um, it's just off the bottom of the screen okay, there. That's yeah. it, yeah. And next turn again, nothing yeah. to do. Yeah, mm. you're going to build something next turn anyway. Go work a couple. Of How do you know? Because it shows one on your city there, uh, at the right hand end of the city. I I just don't know where to look for for information. I always find there is so much to mm. to control, and I think that's what puts me off. I mean, it, it puts me in that mode when I just want to. Um, not exactly play it randomly, but just explore yeah. and enjoy it. Now. Right, like, I have built a worker, so <coughs> yeah. um, I don't think I have mining yet, so I will build a farm. Yeah. <coughs> I right-click to move him there, and then I can construct a farm. Oh. Oh. Now these guys, let's want to head over into the general direction of those barbarians. You've um, explored much more than I have. Mm, it's a different layout though. You're going around and I'm doing sort of straight lines. I think I need a warrior or an archer. I really want to build these things too. Um, I'm going to build an archer <coughs> and then I'll think about buildings. <coughs> As usual, I will not know what to do, what to build. Choose production, okay. Yes, if well, I miss out on something, just... Yeah, I'll tell you if, it, if you're doing something terrible, but, uh, I mean, I'll, uh, <laughs> I don't <laughs> Once know. Once I've done <coughs> it, you'll tell me I've done something terrible. That's very helpful. So, um... 
Oh my god, what should I do? We need to. Yeah. I, I've forgotten what your civilization is good at again, actually. Menu, yeah. Point at the elephant. Free harbour. Uh, so you're, you're kind of probably good at military and, and, and sailings type stuff. So I should have gone for honour <laughs> in this case. Well, you still need the tradition, I think, in the early stage. Okay, so what happens if I build a granary, for example? That helps your or cities grow faster. Or maybe I need a, a warrior. Maybe, well, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I will create a warrior, I think. I don't like... Not having any defenders around. Yeah, yeah. exactly. With yeah. barbarians around me, now let's have a warrior. Yeah. Okay, it'll take him three turns to build. Who needs orders? Click on it and it'll show you. It's not showing me. It's your worker, he's in the city. You just build zoom into your city. This one? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I haven't got other cities. Okay. Um You see no. the two squares where it's rec where it's recommending you build farms, the two hexes. That's right click or what? Right click and move in there, yeah. And then click on the build actions icon in the lower left of the screen. Construct a farm. Click on the click on the farm, not that one. That one, yeah. I don't know if the other one works. I find it so hard to navigate this menu. Lower left, it doesn't. It it, it takes me a while to think. Right, left, where's that? Uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right click. That's the hardest one. Um, okay, well, I'm not. I'm not so terrible and stupid, but mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we all have our problems. Right, oh, next time. <laughs> okay, I just want to catch some fish and explore my wine and. Yeah. Fine truffles and bananas. Yeah. That's the thing when is this going to happen? Over time, you're oh. a bit, you've only started your sieve. Oh really? We've been playing for half an hour probably, and you say we've only forty-six started. minutes. <gasps> time for a break soon. Yeah. Mining. I've got mining now, so that's that's good. Um. I like doing research and developing culture. Hmm. I think I need another scout to be honest, but anyway, choose research. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Oh, another civilization has got a, a good load of faith. I've got zero faith at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what do I want? I'm on the coast. I oh, I haven't got any more husbandry, and I've got some reindeer and stuff. Mm. It'll only take you one turn. <gasps> yeah, let's do it. That's really quick. So some people are getting ahead on faith, but uh, uh, I will focus on other things, I guess. But they'll send Money. a missionary <coughs> to you and um, you'll yes, get Yes, they're, they're a real nuisance, those guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, next turn. Yes, because um, your scout moved and that was that. That's, that's, that's the fun of auto-move auto, <laughs> auto move, movement, auto-explore. <laughs> Okay, okay. Animal husbandry, hooray! So I can build a caravan for trade routes. I can construct pastures on cattle and sheep. And it shows me where horses are, which could be useful. Found oh, some, isn't that so colourful? Found some buffalo, and there's a city state here. Colombo, 30 gold. Friendly. Whales and jewellery, if I can make them pals later. Are there any horses around here? Not so far. Oh yes, there are some horses there. Mm. Why do I get the impression that you're doing better than me? Oh, that it's dodgy <laughs> smile! <laughs> it's just because I'm so good. That's, oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. indeed. Yeah. How come I didn't guess? Hmm. I think I'm going to go for these barbarians first, because I discovered them first. Um, and although there's stuff there, there's more interesting stuff here, and I'd like to settle around here, I think. Mm. <coughs> How do you know where to settle? I look for resources, or maybe st strategically. If, there's, if there was another civilization in the way, like up here, where Pachacuti is somewhere up here, <coughs> I might want to settle in the way or grab resources near him so that he can't mm -hmm. have them. Um, He'll go and kill you. Yes, <laughs> I've had that happen in past games. I settled too close to the Roman Empire and they were all friendly for a few turns and then wallop. <laughs> if you get hold of sugar, you will start a multinational yeah. food corporation. <laughs> Tate and Lyle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ruins! You've got 
want some advanced weapons. You can build some more units, in other words. Oh. Or, no, I think your, your scout has actually become stronger. I can adopt policy. Yes. Now, you have a choice now. You can pick another one of those, Liberty oh. Honor Party, or you can pick one of those two. I can... Oh, if okay. you point at them, it'll show you. Aristocracy. Oligarchy. <laughs> um, I'll probably go for Liberty now. What's this, ideology? That's later in the game. You can't do it Why yet. is it highlighted? It's half highlighted. It's just... Ah. Oh, that's something new. I never, yeah. I've never seen anything you, half highlighted. With with Now, the choice here is... Yeah. You, if you get all of the bits in tradition, all mm -hmm. of those little bits, then you get extra bonus. Um, so it's worth going for them. Or you can go for another general one and get the initial start, starting bonus. But I, I, I was torn between these two, so I might as well get yeah, them both. And pick like like yeah. I told you about dresses. Yeah. You can pick whichever. <laughs> you can pick whichever sub <laughs> bit, sub bits me. suit you at the time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Maybe next time I'll just go for Orna and. I don't know. Get a little bit of all of them. Maybe. So I'm close now. Yeah. Okay. Choose research. That's what I like. That's when something's happening. Yes, yeah. when something's happening, when I can go and explore. Well, later all on, right. you'll, later on, you'll you'll have yeah, plenty to I'll do. Yeah, I'll have a lot of it. Now, sailing is cheap now. Yeah, that's what I'm tempted to do. Sailing, yes. Now I'm, I'm starting to understand how you can sit and play this for hours and hours and hours while I'm... And while you're busy working. Working, so yes. <laughs> washing the socks or something. Yeah. No, I don't wash socks. Okay. Well, no, that, I, I don't... That explains <laughs> it. <laughs> right. No, I mean, the washing machine washes socks. I don't oh, have to do it, yeah, fortunately. True. You I don't do even that. I should fill in the gap here somehow. Did I explore those ruins? I don't remember. You can adopt policy. Oh, I see. Well, I'm, I'm wanting to move my unit first. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not letting me. Okay, I'll adopt a policy. What's, what's wrong? Oh, that's not my unit. That's m yes, it is. I'm Click to select this unit. Uh, maybe he's moved already. Yeah, okay, adopt a policy, right. So I could do the same as you, or I can go for oligarchy, which... Plagiarism. Gains my that will give me a, a bonus against um, attacking barbarians because I'll gain a fifty percent ranged combat strength, mm. and there are barbarians in Ema City. Extra production when building wonders, and happiness for every ten citizens. Well, I'll go for go for the bonus j just to help my military a little bit. I'll g uh, I think <coughs> next time I'll go for Orna and I'll uh, BS my citizens then. Every time they kill mm. a barbarian, they <laughs> yeah. become. More culture. Oh, it's not letting me flipping well move this guy. What's happening? I don't know. Well, I will use the move. Oh, he's injured. Actually, I want him to to recover. Let me before I do any more exploring. Fortify until healed. Mm. I clicked on the little red cross or white cross on a red background. I think it was. <coughs> okay. Am I going to do anything today? I'm. I'm, I'm Getting so carried. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, you're not going to do anything. This is important stuff. But I've got more important stuff to do as well. Even though it's. Well, get this important stuff out of the way first. Oh, uh, mm, this is how you motivate yourself. Yes. Now I understand your motivation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, choose production. There's buildings at the bottom as well, which you need yeah. to have from time to time. They give you permanent bonuses. Do you think it's time to have a settler? I think your city isn't quite big enough. No? Oh, wait, your city will not grow for nine turns if you build them now. When you're building a settler, your city doesn't grow. Oh. Granary? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't really know what to get at this point. Well, you, uh, your city's growing a bit slowly now. It's going to be 12 turns till it grows, so I would suggest building a granary and speed it up. Okay. I'll listen to your advice okay. then. Yeah. Okay. And build another farm when your work is finished. Yeah, and helps. Needs orders. Which unit? That's the warrior you built. Ah, you okay. can fortify him or you can send him out wandering around. How do I fortify him? You click on that, ah. on that icon, yeah. Or I can send them around? If you want to. To do what? Manual exploring. Ah, okay. So they can but just explore safely and... Well, what yes. was that? It's a strange. Well, you've got a scout to gesture. explore now. You could, you could build another scout. I don't know. So what should I do with my warrior? Uh, up to you. There's always a choice of things you can do. Um, you don't have barbarians right next to your capital, so you're probably fairly safe for the moment. 
this is it's a very vague yeah. answer you are giving me. Like you know something I and don't you don't know. No, want I don't know. to tell me. I don't know. I don't accept responsibility for your wrong choices. <laughs> you see, if I've advised you to do the wrong thing, so that's this my suggests fault. my choices are wrong. No. Yes. But yes. You should make the choice, not me. <laughs> Because it's oh, your, your sieve. Okay, I'll send them exploring. God knows what I'm doing, whether it's correct or not. Who is this? That's, that's a spearman, which I think you went into some ruins and you found them for free. Ah, oh, okay. What can they do? Also explore. Well, they can do, or you can, or you can defend your city with them. <clears throat> do I need to defend my city yet? Not yet, but you never know who's going to turn up. You should keep somebody in the general area anyway. But your city's got 11 defensive strength anyway. And we haven't found any big sieves nearby to, to annoy us. Let's go and explore. Yeah, OK. I like exploring. Next turn. We're getting close to the end of the hour now. Yeah. Good. I need more tea. It goes really quickly. Mm. Time goes quickly and you don't do anything. Yeah. This is how your weekend goes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to head down to these barbarians who are coming over. See, they're, they're, they're heading out to attack me. <gasps> oh. um, mm -hmm. Now, I've got to be a bit careful. Who's here? Warriors? Oh, I've got some... Oh, that's Incan warriors. Maybe they'll attack and, and sort themselves out. But I don't want my worker to be anywhere near these guys. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I can... I can't... Can I mine that? Let's get, send them over here. Production. It's about time I built something to help my city grow as well. Culture. I'm going to build a monument. I don't know if, if it's going to be good, but ah, oh, my archer. Yeah, excellent. So oh, now well. you can defend your. Yeah, I'm going to keep him there for the moment. Can't you just send the archer to get rid of the barbarians? I can, but the Incans are there. Maybe he'll they'll kill each other. Uh. <coughs> Typical British strategy. Let's do it. <laughs> yes. With Get the other guys. To <laughs> troops. That's right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's it. Three minutes to go, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, next turn again. Are you going to oh. use orders? No, your worker now needs to move somewhere and do something. I need calendars to explore my mind. Where can I send my worker? Can I send? You see the other wheat field that's highlighted. What this one? Yeah. Okay. You see, because the work has worked that, that now produces three food instead mm. of two. Okay. So, are they going to work here by default? Or no. Next, next turn. Next turn, you have to tell oh, it. Oh, alright. I know I'm probably asking stupid questions, but I don't remember the game at all. Well, that's it's a beginner's guide video as well, anyway. So that's okay. that's the point in a way. The barbarian's disappeared. That's interesting. Where is he? Let's head into the... The forest gives you some extra defence, by the way, if you're next to... They, mm. they survived. Look at that. Let's head my archer out, then. Explore something. I want to. Well, you've got your units auto exploring. Um, so. No, I mean some technology or. Okay, well that's coming up soon. I I find more runes. You'll see in the top left sailing in two turns. <laughs> right. Maybe we should save the game there. I was going to say, yeah, we should. Have save a the break. game. All right. Um, let's get, it's named it after me. How wonderful. Um, Surprise, surprise. It's all about you here. Can I save it on the, on the Steam Cloud? Let's okay, and we will stop the recording of part one. And we'll see you in part two. <laughs>